This is the history of life on Earth that we know of. The Permian period, which would end in the worst mass extinction the world ever saw. This is the time of the supercontinent Pangaea, which led to a lot of new dry climates, and life was doing really well. And there were two dominant groups on land at the time, the synapsids and the sauropsids. The synapsids included Dimetrodon, which is typically thought of as a dinosaur. They were actually related to the ancestors of mammals, which are believed to be this, the cynodonts. This is the first time we see specialized teeth, which would come to help the mammals later on. And the sauropsids were animals like this, Siloroceravus, type of gliding reptile. And also like this, the mesosaurs, not to be confused with mosasaurs, which came later on. As far as we know mesosaurs were the first aquatic reptiles, transitioning back to water. In the oceans, there were ratfish like Helicoprion, famous for their buzzsaw jaw. Trilobites were still around, but not for long, because this period ended with the Great Dying, an extinction that wiped out up to 96% of all life on Earth. But somehow life went on. I'll tell you about that tomorrow.